hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Byzantium. Uh, before we start playing today, let me quickly answer one comment. It's about why I'm not using these uh, icons that show me available trades with someone. Well, it doesn't show me nearly enough information. It only shows basic and it's not precise enough and I honestly think that it's just bad. Uh, I'll explain. For example, here it shows me I can uh, trade these three things and I can get uh, Jade from Shoshone. Well, great. But it doesn't show me, for example, that it's my last copy of salt that I usually don't want to sell. Uh, that's one thing. And uh, more importantly, it doesn't show me, for example, trades with Ethiopia. Uh, I know it doesn't show me any trades because he has minus 9 gold per turn and technically can't afford anything, but um, I still have like 6 items that I can trade with him. I don't always want to get uh, gold in exchange, sometimes I don't want to get anything in exchange. For example, when I have enough copies of one luxury, I can decide to give it to someone or sometimes I may even give it to someone just to just when I'm trying to stay friendly. I can't see if I can do that or not from this tooltip. Also, I may want to give strategic resources to an AI when I want to help it defend itself. And I do that quite often, or it's not an exception. So, again, I don't see it there. Um, and sometimes I don't realize that I can make a trade until I see like the details. Sometimes I will have to look at the screen to find a trade that I definitely wouldn't see here. So yeah, I don't get nearly enough information that I want from uh, this screen, from the from these icons. And um, I also am used to just checking the details all the time. So if you don't like it, well, you will have to live with it. I will keep using it. I think it's much better to check the details, take the extra 30 seconds and uh, see a lot more. But enough about that. Uh, let's uh, focus on what we want to do in this episode. Uh, I said at the end of the previous one that I will stay at peace now for a while. But you guys are right that right, on, right now on this turn we have amazing opportunity to do quite a lot of damage to Ottomans. Uh, and also I like the location of Bursa that is very weak and should fall quickly to our Drummonds. If I leave it up and give Ottomans time to fortify it, it uh, would be much more difficult to take it later. Uh, so instead of... Uh, Staying at peace, we will declare war right away. Let's declare. Yep. I already checked uh, all the things that we're gonna lose uh, because of this war before I started recording, so I don't have to think about that, don't have to check that. And I know, or I think I know what we have to do on this turn. Let's start from the uh, north. Here we have one Ottoman Spearman that we want to kill. Uh, we can send the garrison from the city to attack him and move the Spearman on the hill. Uh, hopefully this way we'll be able to finish him off on the next turn and we, he won't be able to cause any problems. Then, next thing, we can kill the worker and the settler. Uh, ships can't capture civilians, so I don't have a choice, I have to kill them. Uh, I was thinking about waiting a turn. Uh, and hope that they would move, or not one turn, probably two turns, and uh, and hope that they would move north. And I will be able to catch them when they land here, but it's possible they would just go back and I would never catch them, so I will rather go for the guaranteed kill, instead of hoping that I will get them for myself. So, there we go. I think that's quite a lot of damage, Settler and the Worker with one hit. Uh, then we have a swordsman sitting here that we want to kill. But I don't think we have enough damage. I was hoping that four Drummonds would be able to kill him, but nope. Okay, in that case, let's send 
this guy. And well, we'll see what happens. He can still embark and then sure how we would catch him. We don't have any ships to the north. Well, we'll see on the next turn. Now let's move our units a little bit closer. Uh, wanted to move. way I think this guy as well okay you can wait oh and I turned off the unit on the cycling but I don't know I just feel better when it's on and the turn. I'll probably just have to get used to it. But I can't wait for the next patch when they make hopefully the auto cycling smarter. It should uh, always target the uh, closest unit. And uh, when it stops like moving the camera uh, all over the map every turn, back and forth, it will be definitely better. Embassy first. Yeah, we can take this trade. Hans and Shoshone are friends. That is surprising. But maybe they first have to destroy America before they start hating each other. They're still not that close. They don't have a common border. Maybe for some time they will be friends. Does it look like with America? War with anyone, oh, but yeah, denounced both Hans and Shoshone. So it's only, I think, a matter of time. <laughs> Look at this citadel. That's a perfect area to prepare an invasion army. Uh, Okay, what else do we have here? And take Swordsman, good, we don't have to worry about him. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to do and I forgot. Well, we have a trium here that is an auto explorer, let's turn it off. We'll need it to capture Bursa. Where do we send this guy? I wanted to send him somewhere to the Shoshone border and just fortify him there, wait until we get civil service and uh, open borders, then let them explore again. I think I'll just move him on the hill, fortify, and we wait for open borders. Okay. Get a kill here easily. Okay. God, I hate this. Sorry. Because I'm not used to it, but. Uh, Maybe later I'll turn it on again when there are just too many units. But right now the ca camera is not jumping around that much. Okay, I can return to go. Wait. And... 
can upgrade our archers now. So let's move this guy into friendly territory so that we can upgrade him. Also, I think we can kill a spearman. One, three, and should be enough damage. Perfect. Fortify. And go. Want me to declare on Ethiopia. King Gold Pattern is tempting, but um, if I just keep declaring wars all the time, eventually everyone will hate me so much that I may end up being at war literally with every single save on the map. It happened to me a couple of times off camera and I was just too aggressive. Every single save on the map declared on me and it really doesn't feel good when every single unit that you meet wants to kill you. I'll just try to stay friendly at least with someone. Okay, it will take shock. Done with these roads. Yep. Try to remove these road sections that we don't need, but I don't want to go that close to the Ottoman territory without cover. So let's move back and just uh, build some uh, lumber mills. Okay, 45. Now here we'll probably move back. Oh, this is damn thing, but I can't get to those workers. Never mind. Fortify, fortify. Wait, wait, and return to your city, and I was thinking, let's send this archer to Antioch. city has walls now, but um, if, for example, Greece decided to go after the city and send uh, multiple ships, uh, we'll still need more range damage to defend it. I think I'll send this archer and then uh, let's upgrade these units first. I think I'll even buy one more composite bow. We'll have three. Hopefully that's enough to defend the city. Food or production? I think food. They're growing very slowly. Greece and Shoshone now, friends. Okay, that's odd. Because they have common border. Shoshone even started the city in what uh, Greece definitely considers uh, her territory. That's definitely a surprise. But, okay. I don't think that friendship is going to last long. Go. Oh, that was a lot of damage. But I think we can now kill the archer. Wait. Okay, 45. What is this? The caravan. Oh, does it look good? Our trains. The only trading partner available is Germany, and look at that, he'd be getting so much science and culture that it's just not worth doing. It would help him too much, so our options are, this is a pretty bad trade route now, either Gao or 
This is what? That's here. We could boost the city. Buy food is maximum we can get. Also some extra religious pressure. Flip the city faster. Yeah, let's go for it. How many turns can we shave off? Like 16. Um, that's not bad. Wait. Wait. 45, 45. We're done with the horses. Let's fix the wheat. I think I'll first fix all the pillage tiles, then start improving new ones. Uh, you're done with the road, so let's remove the sections that we don't need anymore. Fortify, and now. Let's kill the archer. Do damage to the spearman and pillage the salt. Question is, do I want to keep the spearman? No, he can be bombarded by the city, by the archer, and attacked by the spearman. That would definitely kill him. Let's move him back. Wait. Let's give the city another target, maybe. Wait. Go. Oh. Oh. Get that settler. I could also kill the spearman, but I think if I do that, I'm going to lose the swordsman. That's a pretty bad trade. Uh, I'll just move him back. Wait, wait. Can be hacked by four units. I'll send two units again. I'm trying to give them more targets. Hoping that the AI doesn't focus all its attacks on just one unit. There is a small chance that they kill the spearman but i think it's what it was worth taking uh stealing the settler from them should hurt them quite a bit and yeah it's another worker for us of course and it's denounced cartage Surprisingly, it seems that Venice didn't lose anything. Maybe there is a city under the fog of war that we didn't see. That's possible. Okay, let's get more vision. Fortify. Wait, wait. We can pillage the sheep. Move back. I want the swordsman to follow me closer. Wait. 
Okay, can we take the city now? Yep, we can. And uh, I'll annex it. We got a shrine and size 3, but yeah, that's not enough. I will replace it. Plus, it has a wrong religion that we'd have to remove. Uh, it, oh, I didn't switch. I wanted to switch to a settler. Mm. I thought I did it. I wanted to do it before I even started the episode, and I somehow forgot about that. Uh, in that case, can we just... Build something in the city? Like a garrison unit. Composite Bowman would be the best garrison here. I don't think I delayed settle it too much maybe i don't know six seven turns it still sucks another thing we have only one great general i think right now yeah how close are we to another one really close because what we can do Hello, I want a great general. Really? I can't. Okay, just move away. Um, what we can do is uh, build the citadel on this tile and that will work as a channel for our ships so that we don't have to move around the whole peninsula. And that's definitely a great idea. It was recommended to me in comments, and I agree. Should do that. Oh, and we have over 800 faith. I think we still need a synagogue. And this city is now done with all the religious buildings. Good. Next. Look at that, we are four tags ahead. I think we are still doing fine. We are not expanding that fast, but we are still doing well enough. And, and do we send all the dramas? Yeah, I don't think that for quite a while Versa can be attacked by anyone. You don't have to keep any range units around. I will stay in the city for now. Fortify. And here we are done with the stone. I'll just work on another lumber mill, I think. Okay, resume the work. Fortify, 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 and fortify. Oh, actually, wait. Just got the iron. Let's improve that first. Twenty-one, twenty-two. So that's one turn difference in growth. And we get more production. I think I'm willing to delay the growth for one turn in exchange for one extra hammer.
Next. Um, why would you do that? Okay. I think this is the reason. That's good timing. Reinforcements just arrived. We can uh, upgrade the arch immediately and we can even move this one closer. And how much damage was that? 31 damage. The skirmisher. Yeah, we should be able to defend from one skirmisher easily. I am afraid that there are more units behind him heading to Antioch. There is also the hoplite. Try to catch him. How much money do we have? Six hundred eighty. So let's pay for the upgrade. But I won't attack him yet. I want to have him surrounded before I start attacking him. Hopefully kill him in one turn. I don't want to lose uh, the plantation. It's quite a few trades that we lost. Okay, I think I'll check available trades off camera. Wait. Keep moving as fast as possible. I'll still have to decide what we do with Ankara. We could take it, I think, once our Drummonds arrive. Well, that's ambitious. Not sure it's a good idea, though. Uh, but at least uh, it will keep Alexander busy or give him like another uh, war to worry about and he won't focus all his attention on us. Okay, that, uh, that skirmisher had to run away. Alright, I'm not hitting him. There we go. I think now it's time to start attacking. There's our great general. Is the citadel? Okay, he or someone paid him to declare this war. There's no reason for him to declare. I don't think that the diplomatic penalties we have are that severe yet. For them to just declare because they hate us. Alexander declared war on Washington. Or maybe it's the time of the game when everyone declares on everyone else. Give this kill the spearman so that our garrison units can return to their cities. I think I'll still get targeting, even though we are now using the drum against the land units. 
later we will have to fight some ships and I'm preparing for that. Oh great. I expect to get the kill. For time. Tempted to work the salt and turns for the courthouse. Nine turns. Now we are not growing at all, basically. But once we get the courthouse, we will get well, first monument, but after that, herbalist and then granary. I'm even thinking we don't really have to grow our borders first. Maybe uh, Herbalist Granary into Monument might be better. Now have the money create two more units, let's do that. Yeah. Flipped one of our cities. Still not getting that much production, but we are getting there. Yeah, we are quite close flipping some more cities. And the bonus should go up pretty quickly. Oh, look at all the trades that we lost. We are down to 33 gold per turn. Uh, I think I'll make a cut here. Because I now really should check all the available trades. Find the best ones and get at least some extra gold per turn. We still can trade, what, America? And Venice. Uh, well, Carthage as well. We'll see what we... Or I will see what we can get from them. I think that we'll see each other in the next episode. Uh, as usual, I hope that you like this one. I hope that you're going to join me for the next one again. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.